Eva and welcome back to Holo Holo, your top entertainment and lifestyle show for Asian Pacific Americans. And speaking of lifestyle, joining us today is Nancy Tay, who is a martial arts instructor at the California Academy of Martial Arts in Burbank. And today she's going to teach us a couple of very important self-defense moves. Welcome, Nancy. Hi, thank you for having me. <laughs> thank you so much for being here. Um, I'm excited because I've always wanted to take self-defense classes. But before we get to the moves, I want to know a little bit more about the academy that you work for. Well, California Academy of Martial Arts is in Burbank. We teach primarily Wing Chun Kung Fu. Okay. That is famous for being the style of Bruce Lee. You've heard of him. <laughs> yeah. It's famous for being the style of Yip Man, who was Bruce oh, Lee's okay. teacher. And it was actually invented by a woman. Wow, so I did not know that. I know. It, I think it's the only martial art that has that claim to fame. So right. it's very effective for women who want to learn self-defense. Okay, so it's... It's not as flashy or it's not all about competition. It's also got self-defense incorporated in it. That's correct. It wouldn't be much good at a, like an Olympic style competition where you want to perform a very flashy choreographed routine. Mm -hmm. It's more about how you react to everyday self-defense scenarios. Okay, I like that. Now how did you get involved? I was a big fan of Alias and all those oh, kind of too. butt kicking women, right? <laughs> yeah. Jennifer Garner. Yeah, and I, I honestly, to be her. <laughs> exactly. I wanted to be her, and uh -huh. I said, well, you know, if you want to empower yourself, right. it's kind of cliched, but martial arts is a great way to accomplish that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and today you're going to teach us a couple of self defense uh, moves. And is it does it matter like your size? You know what I mean? Because I'm a really petite person. Can, I notice. Yeah. <laughs> well, we both are. But is it easy to fight off your attacker, or are there certain secrets that you can do? Well, I don't want to use the word easy because uh -huh. you never know what kind of situation you're right. going to walk into. But with Wing Chun, you'll have the tools that you need to make it possible. Okay. And. You know, when you say self-defense, you do want to defend your, against your attacker, of course, mm -hmm. but uh, you don't want to bring a knife to a gunfight. Right. So if someone's trying to hurt you, you actually want to think of it as a fight and you're trying to hurt them back. back. Without that mentality, self-defense mm -hmm. training is kind of useless mm -hmm. because a lot of women or men will go into this type of situation and they're not willing to do what it takes to protect themselves. Right, right. <laughs> okay, so what are some of the most important moves to know? I think one of the most important things that I don't see talked about a lot are the use of elbows in self-defense. Okay. So we're going to practice all different ways you can use your elbows. Okay. All self-defense really occurs at close quarters because once someone's attacking you, of course, they're going to have to come close to you. Right. So awareness is a big part of of women's safety, mm -hmm. don't get into that situation. Yeah. Once it's too late, let's say we're coming closer to each other, mm -hmm. and uh, the person's right in front of you, <laughs> yeah. and are you the attacker? Um, sure. All right, okay. you're the attacker, and you're coming towards me, and you try to grab me, so go ahead and just try to grab me. Oh. Okay, so I want to react right away. Right. I don't want to be grabbed, okay? okay? Nobody wants to be grabbed. Uh -huh. And if I can be on the inside, that's preferable, okay. because now I can hit you in the face and the sensitive targets. Okay. And from here, I can move in and do an elbow okay. to your throat, uh -huh. right? Because that would be the most right. sensitive spot on your body or to your eyes, depending on your height and what I can reach. Okay. So you're going to try it. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to try to grab you. Uh -huh. You're going to stop me however feels natural, okay. and then you're going to elbow me, but not really. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Yes. And elbow. Good, okay. good. Oh, I heard that. Uh, all right. And of course, of course, if we were really doing this, you wouldn't smile. Yes. Okay. <laughs> all right. The next one we're going to uh -huh. learn to do is if somebody is already grabbing you and they're quite right. close and you want to elbow them and you want you cannot come at them from the side, you're going to try coming upwards. Uh -huh. So let's get a little closer okay. to each other, okay? And let's say I'm grabbing you and I'm right mm -hmm. here. This is a very threatening position. Yeah, right, exactly. You want to get to the inside, uh -huh. exactly. Now bring one of your elbows up into my throat. Exactly. Okay. And why don't you step forward as you do it to give okay. it power. So I grabbed you. And then... Right, and then okay. instead of going step, elbow, I want uh -huh. you to step an elbow okay. and kind of, you know, like like right. dance, turn your hips into it. Okay. Ready? All right. Good, okay. good. I'm just afraid I'm going to actually hit Oh, you. I prefer you yeah. didn't. <laughs> okay. And then so from this angle, you can come up into the chin like this. It's just like an uppercut in boxing. But if someone's controlling your arms and you can't get yeah, them free, okay. exactly, you can okay. still use your you can elbow. Still use your elbow. No. So always look at the throat. Always look at the throat uh -huh. um, because for us, we're both about five feet tall. Yeah. Someone's eyes are probably going to be a, a farther away target. They're right. still great, but the throat is going to be quite accessible, okay. Okay. and so is the solar Especially plexus. If you're going like exactly. This, right? <laughs> well, a taller person's still going to have to come down right. to you if they want to scoop you up and 
yeah. take you away, right? right. Um, let's talk about the solar plexus. Okay. So we know what that is. That's right, right here, here, the okay. point here where you'd get the wind knocked out of uh -huh. you if you were struck. Right. And let's say someone was coming at you from behind or they've already grabbed you uh -huh. from behind from here. Okay. okay. From here, what I want you to do is come closer to me and elbow me as hard as you can in the solar plexus. Don't really. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Great. <laughs> yes. So um, now do it without me there. Go ahead and just do an elbow okay. as hard as you can. Exactly. Elbow okay. as hard as you can. And um, I don't know if the camera can pan down to feet, but uh -huh. of course you can also stomp on the feet. Okay. Yeah, most likely I'll be wearing heels. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be and quite then, yeah. quite a stomp, right? <laughs> right. And there's no perfect um, there's no perfect equation to what order to do what, things. Yeah, just exactly. Fight. Just do everything <laughs> yeah. you can. Make a lot of noise. Okay. Stomp, stomp. Elbow. elbow. Right. And when the person starts to loosen their grip, that's uh -huh. a good time to run. Okay. Okay. And get help. Yes. <laughs> I think that, that those are three really great responses to very close quarters situations. Right. Let's talk about kicking. Yes. All right, kicking. so we want to kick. Okay. So let's face here, uh -huh. and if you want to do a decent front kick, all you really have to do is lift your knee mm -hmm. and then kick outwards. Outwards. Exactly. And so, you know, we're not going to get into the martial arts technicalities. This is just right. self-defense. Right. All we want to do is kick really hard, right? Yes. So just kick as hard as you can. Go ahead. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and let's... Think if we were kicking someone, uh -huh. we wouldn't want to kick them with our toe because that might hurt us. Yep. So yeah. let's kick with the bottom and heel part of our foot. Okay. Go ahead. Exactly. Okay. So we're facing each other, and right. let's say you just got free or the person's threatening uh -huh. you, you don't want them to come close. Of course, where's the best place to kick a man? In the groin. Exactly. <laughs> so he's coming okay. towards you. And you just go. Exactly. Okay. And you're going to have your arms up so uh -huh. that whatever he does next, okay. we're ready. Okay. Okay, ready? You're going to do uh -huh. the kick. Yes. And then if I grabbed you, you're ready, exactly, and you're reacting. Ooh, I like that. Exactly. <laughs> that sounds like fun. It is fun. I mean, taking the class, it, not being attacked. In the situation, yeah, in exactly. The, yeah. But we drill these types of uh -huh. scenarios all the time. Okay. And in sparring, which is the self-defense scenario, well, it's not self-defense. It's when right. you're in the class and you're just going at it with another student. Yeah. You don't know what they're going to do, so it mimics a self-defense scenario yes. because they're just kind of coming at you and you're just responding. Right. So it's your class or the academy is good for both inside and outside everyday life. Absolutely. Much, yeah. I think that, you know, we train people to be great martial artists uh -huh. in the technical sense of being great at Wing Chun mm -hmm. and great at the, um, you know, the art of the, you know, martial arts right. and what Bruce Lee and Yip Man studied. Mm -hmm. But we also practice what to do if you're in a self-defense scenario. Mm -hmm. And it's not that you throw all the rules out, but you're at that point are going to use anything, anything. that's effective. Yeah. And that's really what Bruce Lee taught and part of why Wing Chun has such a lasting legacy. Right. It's just meant to be effective in every situation. I like that. Now for more info on you and on California Academy of Martial Arts, where can we go? To find more info on us, go to uh -huh. KungFuWingChun.com. Okay. You can also find us on Twitter and Facebook, mm -hmm. at Burbank Wing Chun. Okay. And you can find my husband, the chief instructor of the okay. school, Sifu Todd Chante, uh -huh. is on Instagram, at Sifu Todd Tay. Okay. Sounds good. Thank you so much, Nancy. Thank you. I love the moves you just taught me. I practice. <laughs> yes, I will. <laughs> Again, for more information on Nancy and California Academy of Martial Arts, the information is on your screen. Time for a quick break, but we have more entertainment and lifestyle news after the break.